Hello, welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, my name is Anne. I'm a fashion designer, kids majorly, and of course, a craft addict. So if this is your first time on this channel, please go ahead to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Today, I want to share with you how to draft different types of flair from the 90 degree flair to 120 degree flare, making ball dresses for children most times you cannot avoid using these flares use from 90 180 360 720 it depends on how voluminous you want the child's dress to be but you cannot avoid cutting the flare and most times we find it difficult getting the right radius for the circumference we are cutting so you either have excess waist or um, smaller waist from the actual circumference. So here now I'll be teaching you how to calculate your radius using a standard formula. It's just a cheap mathematics, something we did in our early years. So it's not so difficult without wasting much time. Let's go ahead to the tutorial. We are cutting four different kinds of flare today. We are cutting the 90 degree flare, the 180 degree flare, the 360 degree flare, and 720 degree flare. And now to cut this flare, we need the radius of whatever circumference we are using. Now in mathematics, there's a standard formula to get the radius of a full circle. This 360 is what we refer to as a full circle. So we'll start by cutting the full circle, that is 360. Now we are using this formula, C equals 2 pi r. This C stands for circumference of a circle. Of a circle. Pi is estimated as 3.14. Then this is what we are looking for. Okay. Now I'm using a random figure of 10 for my circumference. So this C, I'll replace this C here with 10. Now my radius will be 10 all over 2 pi. Note, remember I said pi is an estimated number of 3.14. So what we have here now is 10 all over 2 times 3.14. So what we have here is 10 over 2 times 3.14 is 6.28. 6.28. When we divide this, we divide this by this, we have 1.5. 1.5. So our radius to cut this 360 degree flare is 1.5. For a full circle, full circle, we are using the radius of 1.5. So we'll start by cutting this 360 degree flare. Now, assuming this is our fabric, to fold your flare, you fold into four. Into four like this. Now we have two folded edges and two opened edges. From this angle here, this is where we'll start by taking our waist radius. Then from here, I'll be taking the length of the flare. You can either take from here or when you mark the length of your flare from here, let me say four inches, you can then start from the tip. So what I have here now is 5.5. So I'll place my tape roll here and mark 5.5. This is what we call a full circle. Moving on. We'll be cutting the 180 degree 
to 80 degree flare. So what we have here is this. which is three. So the radius for 180 degree is three. Now to cut the half circle, which is also known as 180 degree flare, unlike the full circle where we cut into, where we folded into four like this, into four. This time around, we are just folding once, just once like this. And from this um, angle here, we'll be marking three inches round. Now I'll just go ahead and take the length of the half circle. This is four inches, so I'm marking four inches here and I'll go back up and take the total length. Now the total length is seven inches. So I'll be marking seven inches round. Now this is our half circle. Let me take this off so that you can see it. This is what we call half circle, and this is our full circle to confirm that your measurements your calculation was correct we used a circumference of 10 now we'll be measuring this half circle to see if we have exactly 10. ten inches so this is our 10 inches now we are moving on to to cut our quarter. Four over one. When we're, when we're calculating for the 180 degree flare, we multiplied by two over one. But now we are calculating for the 90 degree flare. So we are multiplying by four over one. This already is 1.5 multiplied by four. So what we have as our radius is six. So now we are using this waist radius of six to cut our 90 degree. Now, when you're cutting the 90 degree flare, you don't fold at all. Assuming this is your fabric, you just start marking your radius from this angle. You start marking your radius from this angle. So I'll be marking six inches all round. Now I'll just be marking the, the length of what we are cutting. And I'm using four inches. So now I have 10. This is a uh, 90 degree flare now to confirm that we got our calculation right i'll just measure the waist round next we'll be cutting the 720 degree flare moving on to the 720 degree flare to get the radius of this We'll be cutting, we'll be dividing the circumference by two. So our circumference was 10 inches, 10 inches. 
So now 10 divided by 2 is 5. So this is our new circumference that we'll be using. But we are using 2 of it. We'll be cutting 2 of it. Assuming this 10 inches is round the waist of a person. When you divide it by 2, you have 5. So you cut a full circle using the waist circumference of 5 in front. Then you cut another one for the back. That way you have 2 of... You have double of a full circle, which will give us 720. So our, cons our circumference now is 5. So, so now we'll be using this 5 to calculate the radius of our full circle. Remember I said to get the radius of the full circle is 2 pi r. r here is circumference, which is 5, all over 2 times... Pi is an estimated figure of 3.14. This becomes 5 over 6.28. This divide by this and we'll have 0 0.7. 0 0.7. Now, assuming this is your fabric. We are still folding this into 4. We'll fold this into four. And mark 0 0.7 round. Now I'll take the length. Let me say length is four inches. From here I have four point seven, so I'll just mark four point seven round. This is one, but we are cutting two of this. So I'll take another. I'll take another sheet and fold. And I'll be marking the same radius of 0 0.7 round. I'll just be taking length of 4. So from here, I have 4.7. Now we have double full circle. We have 2. But this plus this makes waist circumference of 10 inches. That's because we used five for one and five for the other. So by the time we open this up, open this up and join it together, we'll have a total waist circumference of 10 inches. Let me just go ahead and open this. Now, by the time you put this together, and you put this together, This is uh and this is 720 degree flare and the total waist circumference there is 10 because we used five for this and five for this so two of this makes 10. We have a 90 degree flare, 180 degree flare, 360 and these two put together is 720. These are the different types of these are different types of flare. You can either use it for the waist or for the arm circumference, whichever one. This is what we have. This is going to be the end of this tutorial. 
there is anything you don't understand, kindly leave your comments in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Please, if you haven't done so, go ahead and like this video, share, subscribe, hit your notification bell so that you get notified when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye.